All right, here we have uh, iFlyRC.com latest line of motors. These are the Ion series, and these are from iPower Motors. So they sent me four different sizes, and these are the 2506, 2100 kV, interesting size. 2506, 2450 kV, so a fairly large motor. And a more uh, common motor uh, size is the 2205, 2500 kV, and a 2207, 2500 kV. So pretty much they've covered a pretty good range of motor sizes for, especially for five inch props, 2205 and 2207. A pretty good kV, I think. 2500 is pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, not, it's kind of like in the middle of what most people are using, you know, 23, 2400 kV to 2700 kV. So 2500 kV should be pretty good for like f kind of freestyle application with uh, any of the five inch props. And pretty much these three motors with the 2450 and 2500 kV would do well with a five inch prop. And this 2506, 2100 kV that may do pretty well with uh, even with 5 inch on 5S and perhaps even 6S. You know, now a lot of people are running 6S and, and 5S, no problem. It could also work with uh, 6 inch props and maybe 7 inch props. Don't know. Same with this one. This could maybe work with uh, 7 inch. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on the thrust and see how it does with, with 7 inch. It, that might be a little bit too large for this KV. So 2100 would probably be best. Okay, so let's check out the motors. They come in these uh, nice uh, plastic boxes. You can repurpose them for storing nuts and bolts. Uh, so pretty simple looking motors. As you can see, uh, nothing much fancy about them. And it seems like they come two per box. And these, I believe these are all uh, with standard thread. They're not using the uh, CW and CCW. Yeah, they're all standard threads, and uh, they come only with uh, uh, with this uh, low-profile nut, uh, prop nut, night lock. So that's good, and it's it is smooth on the on this uh, integrated washer part, which is it's good. You know that they're smooth, so it, it helps keep. Uh, Keep it tight when you strike like a branch or anything. It won't. Uh, when the prop turns, it won't grab it and and, and uh, loosen it. And it does have that texture there, so that's that's good. That texture is there and not on the nut. So this is the 2506, 2506, 2450 kV motor. And all the motors have this uh, same kind of a. Uh, uh, look to them the same type spokes and all that they all look the same and as you can see they are using a capture a screw here for the uh, for the shaft to retain the shaft and they're still doing the standard type of base uh, you know they're, they're not using the naked bottom so this motor it's been designed from the ground up it's a brand new design from iPower Motors and uh, they've included a lot of the features that people expect on, on motors these days. Uh, for instance, the, whole, the armature is made out of uh, 7075 grade aluminum. The shaft is a hollow shaft. So as you can see there, it's partially hollow. So it's hollow to about right there. Usually some companies will only hollow it up to uh, both sides, but they'll leave it solid through the middle here. Uh, so this one, it, it, it's like that, it's solid in the middle, but it's partially hollow. And of course, it's a one-piece uh, shaft, uh, propeller shaft and motor. And as you can see, they're using a capture uh, screw to retain the shaft. And kind of interesting way they did it is they're using this uh, somewhat, uh, somewhat tall washer here. It's an aluminum washer, and the, uh, the screw is kind of inserted into it. So kind of interesting, uh, different way of doing it. Other features that it has is uh, N52SH magnets, and these are arc magnets. They're curved. It looks like a single strand wire, uh, heavy duty wire, 
NMB Japanese uh, bearings, four millimeter bearings. So I believe those are those could be four by nine by four, and it's been of course dynamically balanced. So this motor comes with 150 millimeters of uh, 18 gauge wire, so pretty good uh, gauge wire for this size motor. Uh, it's not that uh, thin. So let's see what it weighs with that much wire. So that's 43 grams. So if we cut the wires to about 50 milli millimeters, then we have to subtract 3.5. Uh, so the motor is about 39.5 if you leave the, the wires at 50 millimeters. So not uh, not that heavy actually, uh, you know, for a 25 size di um, diameter stator, it's uh, it's reasonable. I mean, it's not light, but it's not overly heavy. I think, um, you know, it's not going to be the lightest either. So uh, so it's not not really meant for light weight built a big motor so this is meant for like six and seven inch props most likely uh, so let's take out this uh, screw and again if if you feel like any major resistance when you're unscrewing it I always suggest to use a soldering iron and just put it there for about five minutes to loosen the Loctite and it'll make it easier to unscrew and that way you don't mess up the head of the screw and also make sure you have a, re a really good Allen key because if it fits too loose, then you'll mess up the screw. So, so this one, the Loctite wasn't that bad. Uh, they're using that white Loctite, but that was this motor. So, you know, the other the others might be a little bit harder. So, so okay, I'll take this apart uh, and uh, let's check it out. All right, so here's the stator of the motor, and uh, as you can see. Pretty nice uh, windings, very nice and neat. And the laminations, they appear to be, I think they're point, point, uh, 0.2 millimeters uh, laminations. Really hard to measure, but just from looking at them, I think uh, eyeballing it. And the stator, it's supposed to be six millimeters. So let's let's see. Yeah, I think that's that's six millimeters right there. Uh, pretty much nominal size. No surprises there. And there's the NM, NMB bearings, four uh, by nine by four. So those are the nice bearings. Uh, they should they should be pretty durable. So, and here's the bell. And I was just noticing the bell has a, a lip, so it's gonna keep the the magnets in place for sure. You know uh, that combined with epoxy, uh, it's gonna prevent the magnets from slipping. So that's a really good feature to have, I think, especially with these really high power motors. You know, as they heat up, sometimes the epoxy degrades, and uh, it may soften or you know. Uh, anyways, that's a good insurance to keep the magnets in place. So as you can see, it's going to be hard to, to tell, but there's a, because of the color, you know, it's black, but there's a lip right there. So that's why the magnets do thin. So the magnets are actually thicker than that. They, they're they inside that lip right there. So a really nice feature to see. Uh, hopefully more uh, motor manufacturers will start including that. And... Another thing that lip does is that also should increase the strength of the of the ring. Any round uh, metal ring, if you compress it, it'll easily it'll easily deform. But if you add a lip, uh, it, it's gonna be stronger. Yeah. You know that's why your uh, fenders on your car, if you touch under the fender, it'll also have a lip. So that uh, adds strength. So there's the one-piece uh, shaft, and uh, uh, interesting enough, it's got a. It also has the groove for a. Uh, uh, yeah, they also did a groove right there. 
So I guess you might be able to use a uh, C clip if you wanted to, or a sir clip. So that's kind of good. That's kind of good. You know, if if they can if they can include that in case you you know in case you lose your uh, uh, your retaining screw or you mess it up, you know you're not you won't be grounded if you have extra uh, sir clips. So that's a nice touch. I think uh, you know it could get you out of a out of a jam in a hurry. Very nice construction, very well built motor. I think uh, uh, really nice. Looks uh, uh, looks pretty sturdy. Uh, not you know, of course, uh, only actual abuse will tell you uh, how good this motor is. Uh, you know when you when people start crashing and all that, I'm sure we'll, you know, we'll get reports. But overall, it it's, uh, feels feels pretty well made, and uh, we'll put it back together and uh, we'll check it out on the thrust stand. Alright, so let's look at the thrust results for the ION drive, uh, 2506, 2450 kV. The motor came in at uh, about 2400 kV, so pretty close to the spec uh, kV value. This kV, I guess it lends itself to being tested on 3S, 4S and 5S depending on the prop. So this one is yet another one of the large motors that have come out recently in the 25 millimeter class. Lately we've had 23. 24 and 25 millimeter diameter stators uh, of various heights uh, going anywhere from 5 millimeter all the way to 7 and even 8 millimeters. So pretty large motors uh, lately. Uh, seems to be a little bit of a trend there. So iPower came out with this motor. Uh, this one is a little bit of a shallow height uh, stator. So it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of numbers it, it gets and compared uh, to other motors of similar size with similar KV. Though this one is the first one that I test in this actual size, 2506. I've tested some 2407s and some 2507s, but uh, I'll be testing some 25 size uh, motors, uh, other sizes pretty soon. So anyway, uh, let's look at the numbers here. I included this NAS goal because 
iFlight RC sent me this prop uh, together with the motors uh, and some frames, so I thought I'd throw it in. This prop, uh, the, the profile of the propeller doesn't really lend itself to uh, showing good performance on the thrust stand. Uh, I think this prop is similar to the GenFan uh, Flash, the GenFan Flash, the 5152, and the Racecraft 5150, or what is it, 5051. Uh, where those props they uh, they perform better in flight than what they show on the static thrust. So this is seems to be one of those. As you can see, it's, uh, it it doesn't show a spectacular performance on the thrust stand. But I believe I saw a couple of people that reviewed it and they say it's it's fairly fast, uh, fairly good. So you can look for those uh, on YouTube. Uh, so right here it doesn't show too too good of a performance. Uh, so it's not the test is not really doing uh, justice to its actual performance. Uh, so these other 5 inch props are showing pretty decent performance. The These tri blades are pretty much breaking the 1500 uh, gram mark, so that's pretty good on 4S. Amps are pretty decent, uh, keep in mind these are going to be higher than what you'll see in flight uh, by uh, about 35 or so percent. Uh, so in flight the actual amps are going to be a lot lower, around 35% lower. These are of course, as I was mentioned, these are burst uh, amps and burst uh, thrust. So you only see this for a couple of seconds and as the motors uh, heat up, of course, uh, the power output will decrease. And in flight, of course, the limiting factor are going to be the batteries and and the unloading of, of, of props. So amps are going to be a lot lower. Don't be put off by these high amps because that's not what you're going to see in flight. This is just typical of uh, static thrust tests. Uh, you know, you'll see amps and thrusts that uh, are much higher than actual flight. On 5S, uh, the motor is almost close to 2 kilograms here with the 5043 by 3 so pretty good. Amps are still kind of pretty decent, I think. Uh, still pretty uh, manageable as we move on to the larger six inch props the motor just pretty much keeps making power getting close to 1800 right here pretty much staying at 1800 uh, throughout even on seven inch uh, the 4s so as you can see the motor can pretty much handle the six and seven inch props so this large motor with the large stator is probably aimed at the six and seven inch uh, builds so it's going to be interesting to see how people are using these uh, 25 millimeter diameter motors. For 5 inch I think they're probably a little bit too large so, so it's going to be interesting to see how people use them. Alright, uh, those are the test results. Hope you find the data useful and until the next video.